You may have seen this cool demo floating around YouTube, no pun intended. It's usually accompanied by the strap line that you can make a cool 3D hologram using just your mobile phone and a few things you've got lying around the house. Well, I decided to give it a go and see how it works. So this hologram requires you to cut out plastic shapes from a CD case. So I found out a CD case and tried to cut out the shapes. Now let me tell you, CD cases are made of very brittle plastic. They're hard to cut, but easy to shatter into sharp plastic shards. It's just not the easiest thing to work with. Instead, I found that any reflective piece of plastic will do. I use some plastic name badges, but even plastic from food packaging would probably do. Cut out four trapezoids. They're just triangles without the pointy bit on the top. They measure six centimetres wide at the bottom, one centimetre wide at the top, and three centimetres from the top to the bottom. Then carefully tape the triangles together to make a pyramid, again without the pointy bit. This is what you then place onto your phone to get your 3D hologram. Now there are a number of videos on YouTube which are designed for use with this little pyramid contraption, and basically they show four separate viewpoints of the same image. And if we place our little device in the middle of these four images, then we get our cool 3D effect. So how actually does it work? Well, in reality, it's not a hologram. It's not actually even 3D. It's just an optical illusion which simply gives the impression of an image floating in the air. In fact, the name of this illusion is Pepper's Ghost and it was first used by the Victorians in England in the late 1880s. They used it to scare people by creating a ghostly figure in the room, a bit similar to this. We can simulate the basic way that this works by taking just one piece of the reflective plastic. Placed perpendicular to the phone screen, you can see that there is a mirror image of the screen in the plastic. But if we angle the plastic slightly, the reflection starts to look like it's coming out of the screen. And when we get to 45 degrees from the screen, the reflection is vertical, which is the perfect position for a ghost. And it is the angle that the trapezoids in our little pyramid contraption rest on the screen at. And because it's just a reflection, the image that you see cannot be 3D. If you move your head around, you still see the same 2D image. But why does it look so 3D? Well, the images we're viewing have been carefully drawn, or rendered as it's known, to look 3D, and they're often rotating. So it gives the impression to your eye that they're sort of 3D and floating in the air. But surely the other faces of the pyramid are making it look 3D somehow? Well, no. Each face actually shows the same separate 2D reflection. You can even stick your fingers in the pyramid to block the reflections from the other faces, and it has no effect on the image that you see. But because you can rotate your phone around, it makes you feel as if you're viewing an item from a different perspective, but actually you're just again viewing the same 2D image. Does this mean that it's not cool? No, it definitely is still a very cool and simple illusion. Why not give it a go yourself? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and see you next time.